Hello ladies and gentlemen, here to before here bringing you another Minecraft 4.2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the T-28. The T-28 was a Soviet multi-turreted medium tank. The prototype was completed in 1931 and production began in late 1932. It was an infantry support tank intended to break through fortified defenses. The T-28 was designed to, to complement the heavier T-35 which was also multi-turreted and also it, the uh, two tanks shared turret designs. The type did not have great success in combat, but it played an important role as a development project for the Soviet tank designers. A series of new ideas and solutions that were tried out on the T-28 were later incorporated into future models. The tank itself was equipped with 4 to 5 7.62mm DT machine guns and also housed a 7.72mm uh, KT-28 howitzer uh, as its main armament. Uh, overall, it was a very uh, interesting vehicle to say the very least. It was very weakly armed for the size of the tank with only 20 to 30 millimeters uh, max, so very lightly armored tank and only could achieve a top speed of 37 kilometers per hour, which if you think about it is not actually that bad uh, considering how big the tank was and probably how heavy it really uh, was as well. So uh, overall, a very uh, interesting tank to say the very least. And uh, came out pretty good. Now this was a request by somebody, so thank you obviously for using my request system, and uh, definitely trying to work on getting some requests out. That's why a lot of the uh, aircraft and tutorials you've seen lately are, you know, some very different uh, vehicles to say the very least. Something that we don't typically see on the channel uh, with biplanes and other, you know, lesser known aircraft. But uh, really having a fun time going through and doing some of your requests right now. So hope you guys are all enjoying that and. Uh, expect to see some more coming out very soon. Anyways, take a look at the T28, which we'll be building today. Uh, came out overall pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with the way it came. As you can see, it's a big old tank. It's uh, very big, very thick. Um, you can see, uh, at the very least, um, it's also very uh, slim. So it's a very slim tank, as well, only coming in at uh, five uh, blocks wide. Uh, so starting off with, we have two uh, basically turrets in the front here for machine guns. Uh, I can only imagine how cramped it's up. it is up here in the front with the crew of six. Obviously you probably have the driver and then the gunners on both sides here so obviously it's probably really cramped up here in the front. Uh, then you have the turret itself which uh, has a coaxial machine gun as well and also a rear machine gun and it is optional to have a fifth uh, machine gun mounted on top here. I just didn't include it with my model because most I see don't really have that on top. Though that is an optional um, addition you can put on. Obviously you have the main turret right here. Uh, the main gun there is the 76.2mm uh, you know, main gun. Uh, lots of uh, you know detailing on the side here. You got some spare uh, road wheels. All the road wheel details. All those little intricate little pieces and stuff like that for the side. The tracks. All that stuff. On top here you got vents, hatches, the uh, muffler across the back here and all that stuff. And over here it's practically the same. A little bit different. We got some iron bars over here on this side for like a kind of vent uh, it has and uh, which is doesn't have on the air so on the uh, right side so uh, overall really interesting looking vehicle and uh, overall really happy the way it came out and hope you guys can enjoy it as well and add it to any of your early kind of uh, Soviet Union scenarios where uh, you know you have a need for a big multi turreted tank like this anyways let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer layer one alrighty guys so beginning with our first layer we have layer one for layer one to get started here, we want to go ahead and place down another brick upside down stair, which is going to basically just go like this. This could be the start here of the right tracks, by the way. Going back from this uh, another brick stair, we're going to place down a total of one, two, oops, my bad, uh, two, still did it again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Dark oak wood stairs back, all facing the same direction, and then another brick upside down stairs. So this can be the right side tracks here, you should get something that looks just like this. Now on the right side of these stairs, um, we're going to just go ahead and take some item frames, place down a row of item frames all the way down, and then place down green hardened stink light in all the item frames like this to go ahead and make the road wheels. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and skip a space of five, or sorry, a space of three, my bad, and we're going to go ahead and copy the same thing just over here to the left side. So it's going to be the same thing here, a long row of dark oak wood stairs, all the way back like this, no break up sound stair on both sides. And this time we're going to place down the item frames on the outside, which is going to be to the left side of these stairs. Very important that you make sure that you put it on the left side, not the inside, because that's just going to uh, you know, look weird and it's uh, not going to work. So make sure that that's like that. And once you have that complete, that's going to pretty much do it for your first layer. You should have something that looks just like this. Pretty straightforward. 
And with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer two. For layer two, we have a lot more going on and a lot more of the holes are gonna start to get built here in this layer. So to begin with, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood upside down stair that's going to be on top of this narrow brick upside down stair. We're gonna do the same thing over here as well, just like that. Behind this uh, dark oak wood stair, we're gonna place down a narrow stair right behind it. And in the space in between these stairs, we're gonna go ahead and take our green stain clay and place down uh, what is gonna be two rows of three across in between those uh, dark oak wood upside down stairs. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go and place down a narrow brick upside down stair. Come off the dark oak wood stair on both sides here for the front of the tracks. Uh, come off these green stink boot blocks here and place down two uh, trip bar hooks to the sides and a stone button there in the middle. Going ahead and going back from this, we're going to go and place down a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides here next to those dark oak wood uh, stairs, followed by a row of three green stink clay blocks across. We then want to place down a row of five of green stink clay across, and we're going to go and place down a few more rows after this. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six more rows to give us a total of seven. So let's go and place down six more rows of five going back. So two, three, four, five, and six rows of five of green stain clay going back to give you a total of seven rows of five. We then want to do an alternating pattern of stone button, trip bar hook, stone button, trip bar hook, stone button, trip bar hook, and stone button like that along the side here. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Um, so just the alternating pattern here of tripwire hooks and stone buttons. When we get back to this section here, we're just going to go and place down a row of three of green stain clay across the middle, leaving a space on both sides here. After that's done, we're going to place down a nerd two rows of three of green stain clay going across, but coming off the sides of these green stain clay blocks, we're going to place down a dark, two dark oak wood upside down stairs, back to back like this to create the rear uh, kind of drive wheel here. And then we're going to go and place down another brick upside down stair, coming off this dark oak wood stair like that like we did there in the front after that is all done that is going to do it for layer number two and with that we can move on to layer three all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer number three for layer three we're going to start off with placing down a dark oak wood stair on top of these two narrow brick ups down stairs once that's done we're going to go and place down a narrow dark oak wood stair that goes back from the stair again on both sides like that and then on the back of this dark oak wood stair we're going to place down a narrow dark oak wood stair to go ahead and go on the back of it to complete this wheel shape here on the side like so after that is all done, we're going to go ahead and take our green stain clay, and in between these dark oak wood stairs here, we're going to place down a row of three of green stain clay that goes across, followed by a row of three of dark oak wood slabs across here, like that, um, in the middle, in between the middle set here of dark oak wood stairs. We're then going to place down an item frame coming off the two dark oak wood slabs to the sides here, followed by a glass block in the item frames, and also a sign like this to kind of cover up the item frames like that to kind of create a bit more of a headlight impression. When that's all done there, we're going to take our green stain clay, place down a nether row of three across the middle here, followed by a nether brick top slab on both sides of this row of three. We're then going to place down a nether row of three, a green stain clay across the middle, zombie head on both sides. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a row of three, a green stain clay, nether brick top slab, both sides, and a sign coming off the side here of the top slab. We're then going to place down a row of three, a green stain clay again, again a zombie head on both ends like that. Uh, we then want to place down two rows of three of green stained clay and then come across the middle and then come off both these rows to the sides. We're going to place down a row of two of um, nerve brick top slabs with signs on the side of them and same thing over here to the right side as well. Uh, with that done, we're going to place down a row of three of green stained clay across the middle. Again, an air zombie head on both sides. Row of three of green stained clay across the middle again. Nerve brick top slab on both sides with a sign coming off the side of the top slabs. Uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a narrow row of three of green snake clay across the middle, followed by again a zombie head on both ends. On top of these uh, dark oak wood stairs here, we're going to go ahead and place down another dark set of two of dark oak wood stairs, uh, basically back to back, like that to go ahead and complete the rear wheel here. And in between these dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down two rows of three of green snake clay. Uh, again, going toward the back here, we're going to place down a uh, narrow row of three of green snake clay across, followed by a nether brick stair like this on both sides. Also from the previous layer, one thing I want to go ahead and add on that I forgot to do was the bottom section here. Um, so next to these dark oak or these narrow brick ups down stairs, we're gonna place down a green stain clay block on both sides here, followed by a sign. Coming off those green stain clay blocks and then just upside down dark oak stair there in the middle. So my apologies for missing that in the previous layer, but just go and throw that on now. Simple little add-on, and when you have that all complete, that will do it for layer number three. And with that, we can move on to layer four. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We're moving on to layer number. Four. For layer 4 to begin with, we're going to go and place down a green carpet on top of these two dark oak wood stairs up here in the front. Once that's done, we're going to take mossy cobblestone walls. We're going to place down one on this 
uh, third dark oak wood stair back, fall by one over to the uh, middle, and same thing over here, one on top of that and one toward the middle, fall by a spruce wood stair there in the middle in between them. We then also want to go ahead and grab ourselves an end rod. We're going to place down an end rod coming off of the uh, mossy cobblestone wall that's closest to the spruce wood stair. Going back from the spruce wood stair, we're going to place down a green stain clay block, and then to both sides here. Uh, of this green snake block, I'm going to place down a dark oak stair to both sides, and then a green snake block on the back of the dark oak stairs. Uh, again, going ahead and continuing on, in the middle space here, I'm going to place down a green snake block, followed by a dark oak stair on both sides, and then on top of this zombie head here, I'm going to place down a green carpet. Uh, once that's done there, continuing on, we're going to place down a row of three green snake clay, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides. Uh, when that's done, we're going to place down a netter set of what is going to be three. Uh, basically three rows of three here of green stained clay going back and on the sides here of these rows We're gonna place down a row of three of spruce wood planks. Same thing over here uh, row of three We're then gonna place down a stone bun on both sides here both ends of this row of three And we also want to go and place down a trip bar hook coming off the middle spruce wood plank like that um, And actually my bad these are not supposed to be stone buns are actually supposed to be signs So my apologies for that just go ahead and swap those stone buns out for signs here just like that once that's all done, we're going to take our uh, spruce wood uh, planks here and we're going to go and place down a row of three down the middle here. Same thing over here. And then a row of three of green stain clay down the middle in between these rows of three of green stain clay. Over here to the left side, we're going to go and place down a row of three of iron tra iron bars. And then over here to the right side, it's a bit different. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall followed by two dark oak wood stairs like this going back. And we also want to go ahead and place down or grab ourselves an item frame, which we'll need to go into the creative menu, grab ourselves an item frame, place them down on the side of these dark oak wood stairs, and then uh, uh, some green stain clay blocks in those item frames like that for the spare whe wheels and also signs on the side of these dark oak wood stairs like that to kind of close that off. Once that's done there, we're going to take our green stain clay, we're going to place down a row of three across right here. We also want to go ahead and place down an additional iron bar over here on the left side. Over here on the right side, we're going to place down a green carpet on top of this dark oak wood stair. Uh, when we get to the section here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a, a polished anesthetic block, place it down the middle, followed by a green stain clay block on both sides, and then a green carpet to both sides like that. Again, continuing to go back, we're going to place down a uh, stone brick slab there on the back, followed by a dark oak wood slab to both sides, and a green carpet uh, to both uh, sides like that. On the very back here as well, I forgot again, uh, I'm missing these blocks here. We're going to go ahead and grab a stone button and also a trip bar hook and place down a stone button on both sides here and a trip bar hook there in the middle. So my apologies again, missing stuff on the back there. I don't know why I keep doing that, uh, but let's uh, hope that changes around for the rest of the tutorial. Anyways, that's going to do it for layer four. With that, let's move on to layer five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We're moving on to layer number five. For layer five to begin with, we're going to go and take some redstone repeaters and on these two green stain blue blocks here, we're going to place down redstone repeaters and flip the notches all the way out to the side there. Uh, on tops of the turrets. Once that's done, on the this top of this green stain clay block here, we're going to place down a narrow green stain clay block up, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides. Uh, behind that, we're going to place down a row of three of green stain clay, followed by again a mossy cobblestone wall out to both sides like that. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood slab, place down a dark oak wood top slab coming off this green stain clay block. We're then going to place down a narrow row of three of green stain clay across the middle here, followed by again a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides. We then want to place down a green stain clay block here in the middle, followed by again a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides of the block. We also want to place down a dark oak wood top slab that's coming off of this uh, green stain clay block in the back here for the turret. And then we just want to grab ourselves some wooden pressure plates and then place down one and two, and one and two on these spruce wood planks here to both sides. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place down a dark oak wood slab on top of these two spruce wood planks. We're going to go ahead and need to grab some spruce wood planks in the green snake wood block and the kind of embedded in here. We're going to go ahead and place down a spruce wood plank instead. And on top of that, we're going to place down a stone button. We then want to place down a row of three of dark oak wood slabs across, like so. And also on the sides of these dark oak wood slabs, we're going to place down signs. It's going to be the same thing here on both sides, like so. Uh, on this uh, green snake wood block here, we're going to place down a near spruce wood plank, stone button on top dark oak wood slab on both sides and again a sign here on both sides like this. We then want to place down a row of three of acacia wood slabs across followed by a wither skeleton skull coming off this row of three of acacia wood slabs to both sides like that. Once that's all done that is going to do it for layer five and with that we can move on to layer six. Moving on to our next layer we have layer number six. For layer six we're going to start off by placing down a dark oak wood slab on top of this dark oak wood top slab 
followed by an additional slab that goes toward the front. Once that's done, we're going to place down a green stained clay block, going back from the dark liquid slab, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall to the left side. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark liquid stair, place it down on top of this mossy cobblestone wall, and coming off the front of the stair, we're going to place down a end rod, and then on the back side of the stair, we're going to place down a sign. After that, we're going to place down a row of three of green stained clay across, and followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides. We then want to grab ourselves a spruce wood plank, place down a spruce wood plank here to the right side, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall to the side of it, and then we're going to place down a row of one and two, green stained clay blocks over, and again a mossy cobblestone wall over here on the left side. For the back section here, we're going to place down a row of three of green stained clay across. On the back, we're going to place down a green stained clay block on top of this dark oak with top slab, mossy cobblestone walls on both sides, and a end rod coming off the green stained clay block like that for the rear turreted machine gun. Once that's all done, that is going to do it for layer uh, number six. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layer, layer number seven. All right, I guess so moving on to our last final layer, we have layer number seven. For layer seven, we're just gonna be putting the top details on top of the turret. So let's go ahead and finish this build off. To begin with, we're gonna place down a green carpet on top of this dark liquid stair. We then wanna place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of these two green stained clay blocks here. So this first row of three, mossy cobblestone walls on both ends like that. Going back from the mossy cobblestone wall on the left side, we're going to place down a spruce wood slab, followed by a redstone repeater with its notches flicked out to the side right after it. Uh, then in the middle here, we're going to place down one, two, and three stone buns that go back. Over here to the right side, we're going to place down a stone bun on top of this spruce wood plank, and then a zombie head like this on top of this green stained clay block. Once that's all done, that's going to pretty much do it for the T28 uh, medium Soviet tank. Really interesting looking vehicle and uh, one of those kind of interesting interwar vehicles that had so many multi-turrets that was just ridiculous. Anyways, hope you guys do enjoy this build, and if you guys uh, do end up using it, do I say you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be the link from the side of the build, tweet to my channel, or this video if this does appear on any social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow, and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of videos. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett24, and I'll see you guys next time.